Hello, class. Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's talk about uh, estimating numbers when we're dealing with very large numbers. So one, one of the questions that you have on your homework is if all the people of the United States hold hands end to end, how far would they stretch and would they be able to go around the equator and would they be able to go around multiple times around the equator? So let's see if we can answer that and based on this idea of estimating with, with large numbers. Okay, so how many people are in the United States? Well, there are about 300 million, okay? So 300 times 10 to the sixth people. All right, how big is the wingspan of a typical human? Right, hand to hand. Well, it's about the same as your height. And, you know, average height is probably five to six feet. So why don't we say that the wingspan is two meters, okay? So two meters, end to end, all these people holding hands, how far around would we go? Well, we just multiply the number of people times how far that is. So the distance that they would cover is 300 million, which is three times 10 to the eight. And now we got to multiply by the wingspan, two meters. So what do we get? We get six times 10 to the eight meters. Good. Now, how far around do you go if you're on the equator? Well, we want the equator circumference. And the equator circumference is equal to 2 pi r, where r is, of course, the radius of the Earth. What's the radius of the Earth? It is 6,371 kilometers. And so we can put in a number here that is 6.371 times 10 to the 6 meters. Okay, so that's fairly exact. We don't need it quite that exact. And so we're going to approximate these things with large numbers. All right, so let's make some room. And now if we want... The total distance here, 6 times 10 to the 8, and we're going to divide by 2 pi r. Well, let's approximate this stuff. What's 2 pi? 2 pi is 6. Okay. What is the radius of the Earth? It is 6 times 10 to the 6 meters. And so now we can cancel some stuff out. One of those 6s cancels out right there. We get 1 over 6 times 10 to the 2 meters. 1 over 6 is pretty close to 1 over 10. And so you end up with 10. Okay? Everybody in the U.S. joined hands, went around the equator. How many times they would go around? It's 10, roughly speaking. All right? Hopefully that one's clear. If you have any questions on that one, come see me in office hours. Cheers.